Hey guys, how you doing? This is Buddy Blackford and I'm here with another Adobe After Effects CS6 tutorial for the new Boston. Today we're going to be learning more about animating, specifically uh, keyframing velocity and speed and a little bit about the motion path. I'm going to teach you a little bit about different types of keyframes and we'll go from there. So if, if, if you look here, I created a motion path by animating the position and it's just three keyframes in a kind of, an, kind of an arch. So I want to show you about the motion path is in between each of your keyframes. So if you look at the motion path, there's little dots. Each of those dots represent a frame. And when you get to the bigger squares, that's your actual keyframe. So between this big square and this big square, there's this many frames. Now the closer together the dots are, I'll show you that. The farther apart and slower your animation is going to be. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of dots because I dragged the keyframe farther away from the first keyframe. So let's put that back somewhere close to the middle. Now realistically, I'll show you the animation real quick. It's just not too realistic. It's just a basic animation. So in real life, an object will accelerate in the beginning and maybe accelerate or decelerate around this uh, position around the middle position and then at the end position it'll decelerate and you can achieve this in After Effects to make a more realistic animation to do this let's uh, go down to the last keyframe where we, we know we will be decelerating and we'll go up to make sure it's clicked you know it's clicked when it has when it's highlighted go up to the to the menus up here and click on animation and go to keyframe assistant and you can click on easy ease and when I click on this watch the dots at the end how they change Let's move this out of the way you can see that the dots have gotten closer together into a decelerating fashion now I'll show you real quick another animation preview if you watch the end it slowly comes to a halt instead of like just stopping on a dot this makes the animation look a little more realistic now the pre the the hotkey for the easy ease key is F9 and you'll want to remember that that's the most important one to make the keyframe not be an easy ease keyframe anymore hold control or command on windows and click on the keyframe and it'll put it back to a regular keyframe when you use the easy ease keyframes it automatically figures out which is the best uh, position for you to or what, what is the best way for it to interpret how you want to use the keyframe so if we put it at the start and convert this into an easy ease keyframe I'll show you another way real quick is to right click on your uh, keyframe and go to the keyframe assistant and click on easy ease again and you notice that now it is accelerating so the keyframe the easy ease hourglass icon there it show it figures out what would be best so at the beginning it'll accelerate and at the end it'll decelerate for you so I'm gonna control click on the hourglass again to change it back now if you want to be more precise and maybe the keyframe easy ease didn't work the way you wanted it to you can also use a, a, dif a different method if you right click on it and go to keyframe assistant and you can choose if you want it to go in or out so in the beginning if you want it to accelerate click on out and it'll do the same exact thing you you can see that it turns into an arrow pointing to the left so let's uh, preview it real quick All right. and you can do the same thing with the end one easy ease in let's preview accelerates then decelerates now it's a little bit of more smoother animation easier on the eye 
I zoom in again. That's pretty good for this part of the tutorial. That ba I basically t taught you about the motion path and the easy ease. Remember that these are the frames in between. And remember that in our composition that we created, the go to the composition settings here, that we are at 24 frames per second for the frame rate. You can we pick that. It might be t you you can change that anytime you want. It's um, not always smart to change it in the middle of animating and stuff like that because it'll it might screw up your previous animations, but it's always there to animate. Remember that F9 is the hotkey for easy ease and uh, you don't really have to remember the um, easy ease in and easy ease out keyframe or hotkeys because you don't use them as much as the easy ease it regular easy ease but here are the hotkeys shift f9 and control shift f9 it's kind of um, not easy to it's not like an easy hotkey to just use where you can keep your hand on one hand on the mouse and one hand hitting the hotkey like this one so let's uh, head off into the next tutorial where uh, I'll be teaching you how to smooth out your animation and and we'll see what goes on from then. Hope to see you guys there.